In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to share some tips on managing your project using the storyboard view in a somewhat atypical fashion. What we have on the screen here is a typical segment of a program where on track number one, I have my graphics. I have five videos and then I have one image. That's normally what you see on the top of track number one. Now to get to storyboard view, all I need to do is press the tab key. And when I do that, I see a box or container representing each of those five videos and one holding the graphic. If I press the tab key back, it switches back to my normal timeline view. What I'd like to show you in this tutorial is a different way of using that storyboard view. Let's assume I want something besides simple pictures here. I'm going to take my second element here, the second video, and drag it down to track number two. Now if I press my tab key again, that gives me a black box representing that segment of my project. I'm going to use that to my advantage now. I'm going to go back into the tab and get to timeline view. And then I'm going to take a title, just a blank generic title, and drop it down and fill the space on my second area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take that title and edit it. I'll press the F2 key to get into my title editor. I'm simply going to call this uh, Bikes. And click on OK. Now when I go back and press the tab key to get into the storyboard view, I see the container that is labeled now that has that segment in it. Now when I play it, I can still see the bike because the video is on a higher number track. It completely obliterates the title. But in storyboard view, it gives me the opportunity to see what my content is here. Now I find this useful in terms of planning. Suppose after the baseball, I'll go back to my regular timeline view, I want to add some other features I'm going to have as part of my project. Well, I'll take a title here and I'll actually stretch it out here and we'll call this, we'll get into our title editor and we could say something such as uh, add drone shot here. And so it could be a marker for me, a label of something I want to do in my project. So I'll click on OK. Going back to storyboard view with a tab key again. Now I find that I want this to be a drone shot. Another thing you can do by using this kind of feature is I'm going to take these two segments here, these two clips, move them to a lower track. And now if I go back to my storyboard view, I notice I have one blank space representing both of the videos uh, because that's all it knows. It doesn't read anything on anything but track number one. Although if I go to play it there, I see the first video and I can move over and look at the second one, which is a scenic drive. But if I want to label both of these together, uh, for some reason I like to keep them as one, I'll drag a title down into the empty space. And I can label this one to cover more than one video that's underneath it in this segment as I organize my project. I will call this raft and car and click on OK. So I go back into storyboard view with the tab key and now I see I have uh, this segment which actually represents two different clips uh, aligned here. So I can use the combination of my titles and the storyboard view to organize my project, see what I have there planned for the future. If I wanted to I could take the clip in the first box and the baseball in the fifth box, move them to track number two and make track number one exclusively titles. 
that would give me the opportunity to have this always available to see the flow of my project and the components that I want as I begin to build or tweak my project in CyberLink PowerDirector.